even know what's going on anymore. What is the plot? I don't even care. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rat Attack. Listen to me. What do, what do you have I like say? her hair. She does have nice hair. It looks like... It looks like cabbage. a bunch of snakes. What are the snakes? Like Medusa. Uh, listen, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. The first episode came out yesterday, and it did really well, so thank you for that. But so, so many people were commenting like, guys, this game will get terrible. Like, yeah, there's actually a... actually horrible. People there's... were begging us not to play it. <laughs> there, there was like a few serious comments where it's like, hey, you should not play this. But, uh, you know... I'm here for the experience, even if I don't enjoy it. But so far, I have enjoyed it. But mainly, I've heard issues with Chapter 3, which we're going into Chapter 2 right now. Right. My guess is Chapter 3 is going to be the chapter of that pink-haired girl, you know? Why? Because people always... From my understanding, there's a lot of... Oh, like pedophile. Sex- sexualization and stuff? Yeah. I And see. I, I always hear people complain about Chapter 3... So, guys, if you're not comfortable with that, this is your last chance. Well, next chapter will be your last yeah, chance. Yeah, you probably have, like, four more episodes before it's your <laughs> last chance. Well, I don't know. We finished all, like, most of chapter one in one episode. Oh. So we could get to chapter three today, maybe. But, yeah, even hmm. chapter one was a bit dark with, like, that orange kid, Masaru Daimon, like, getting orange? beat by some adult, probably his dad or something, because that's usually the stereotype. And like alcoholic father oh, beating yeah, type kinda, stuff. I assume I don't know. I've heard so many like I've seen like some like a few clips of like Those this spoil- game before. That just like nothing like big. Mm. Like I don't know like how it ends or I don't even really know who the protagonist was at first. That- but I don't know. I've just I've heard some weird stuff. But you know, just approach it with like a level of maturity. Like, I still want to see what this game contributes with, like, Toko, and I really like Komaru, if that's her name. I like what she adds a lot, so... I don't know. I want to, like... S- oh. You want to see more of the... I almost said Breaking Bad. The uh, Danganronpa lore. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Well, anyway, welcome to his funeral, everybody. Yep. He always acted all big and was a perverted idiot, but... but what is that voice? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, F- Futaba. Okay. Yeah. That's right, I forgot. That's very nice of him. I like her headband a lot. Too bad he killed like a thousand people. (laughs) Yeah, I was gonna say that seems more like a thing up his alley, but anyway. Anyway. (laughs) I love this guy though. Jitaro is so funny to just listen to. So. If we're going, if we're gonna say like all the kids have experienced some sort of different trauma, so the PE kid was probably beat by like an alcoholic adult, right? That's the way it seemed. Let's just go off assumptions and say the girl is like sexually exploited or something. What do you think the Jotaro, this guy's like? I don't know. Trauma Maybe... is like. Do you think it's a more like physical trauma? Like he has a terrible scar under okay. that mask or something? You know what I wonder? Oh, where, where'd my rat go? Oh. Oh, it was back. lagging for a second. What the fish? I would assume maybe Jotaro has like a... He was left alone too much. Like a lack like of abandoned attention. abandoned or something. Right. Yeah, she called him a latchkey kid. Well, yeah, so if he latches onto people, but he also seems really awkward, but was capable in fixing tables and air conditioners and stuff. Like tables, okay, whatever. Drive a nail into it. Uh-huh. But air conditioners... I don't know how to fix an air conditioner. I could probably figure out a table, but not an air conditioner. That takes some uh, electronic and mechanical knowledge. Right. So I would think maybe, like, left alone too much. Isn't there a fourth here? There's the blue-haired one that's really smart. What do you think his deal is? Or do you think he's just normal? He's like, no, I'm just mean. (laughs) He doesn't seem kind of normal, but mean. Maybe he was bullied a lot. Maybe. Maybe. I could see that. Like you're trying to hide that you actually think I should have died. <laughs> She's not going to comment. <laughs> She's not going to say anything to that. But I agree with you. Aw, poor kids. It would be much better for the hated one to die instead of the Who's the new leader? Warriors of hope. Ah, that reminds me. That's totally true. <laughs> Masaru was the leader. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> that's the case, then allow me to join you. Wah! Oh, Masaru! 
Didn't she bully him pretty relentlessly, I thought? I don't think she's nice to anyone. If only I went first, Masaru wouldn't have died. I'm a useless loser. I know it's like sad, but I just love the voice for him. <laughs> yeah. It's just so like different. By Masaru is no excuse. What? Why were you locked in the bathroom by him? It's my fault for being there. <laughs> I shouldn't have been pooping in the first place. True. Hey now, it's not as if we're positive that Masaru is dead, right? <laughs> yeah, we never saw him die. I think Monica knows he's dead. No, he's I think Monica killed him. <laughs> right, that was my implication. Uh. Like I said, according to the Monokuma kids report, they did not say he was dead. Hmm. The report indicated that he was captured by adults. Oh, really? His status is unknown. That seems like bogus. That means he's dead, right? Huh? Think back to those talk shows I used to be on when times were peaceful. You're the one that made it not peaceful. Hearing status unknown or unconscious, you knew they're probably gonna die anyway. That's what I always thought anyway. But, but even so, if we don't actually confirm it for ourselves... No, it would be pointless. Our precious Masaru, he's returned to notice, think... no, notice she has zero hope. It's, it's just despair, you know? Well, yeah, that's a very good point, because it tracks. Mm -hmm. But also, I feel like the blue-haired kid is going to turn traitor one of these days. He does seem like the only one that's not a complete schizo freak. He even said, like, yeah, I don't really want to play this game. <laughs> yeah. But I'll do it because Monica wants to. He was pretty dead set on, like, okay, let's rebuild now, you know? Yeah. But we should have someone go look into it, just in case. It's gonna be useless! Uh-oh. You made her mad. What? <laughs> My goodness, you made Monica mad! Oh, now you're gonna be the hated one, Nagisa. Even more than me. Huh? But it stopped short! Never to go again! What's she yapping about? I don't know. When the old man died, she started poetry old... night all of a sudden. Mm. Right. Who's I the old man that died? It's just as you say. Masaru died. That's just... What I need to believe. Well then, now that we have Oh my god, you, <laughs> such crocodile tears. The low PNG. No. Low quality. You should take that picture from a mile away. It must be like super zoomed in or something. Mm hmm. Ooh, I feel much better now after a good cry. Okay, now let's get back to the game. Alright, the fun's not over yet. Yay! What is she gonna do when she's the only one left, probably? You want to continue with this? Is it not more important to work on establishing paradise further? You, you need to stop talking, dude. Right? You're gonna get killed. Nakisa, you don't want to play anymore? Do you hate Monica now because Monica's just so selfish? N no, of course not. We're allies, and we'll create paradise mm. together, after all. Then... Do you like Monica? Where did that come from? I hardly think it's appropriate to discuss that now. So you don't like me? L like I said, it's not that. <laughs> you just need to keep your mouth shut, man. <laughs> yeah. Nagisa, that attitude of yours, you're acting just a little bit like an adult. Uh-oh, your maturity's coming back to bite you. Adult? You're an adult? <laughs> Don't be stupid. That's not true. I'll be a kid until I die. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> I would rather die right now than become an adult. Don't you believe me? Then, do you like me? Uh, of course. I like you. I'm starting to not, though. <laughs> Yay! Nagisa likes Monica! I don't I think she's a kid at all. an ally with whom I can build paradise. It's not love or anything. Yeah, uh, hopefully that wasn't the wrong thing to say. Oh, this is bad. Nagisa is burning up. Jotaro, you're our priest. Chant some healing magic. 
Ice cubes. <laughs> I love that sprite. Give mercy to the lost soul. Did it work? Stop that! Don't tease Oh my god, I'm gay now! Jeez, it worked. So mean to <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Lisa, Kotoko, we are all out huh? Who's to oh Kotoko the, girl, the, the girl? I was like, I've never heard that name. <laughs> I'm standing right here. You didn't mention me because you hate me, right? That must be it. So let's all get along. No one ever denies it. Wow. Poor guy. <laughs> as expected of our Monica, positive as always. I just love that about you. Uh, of course. It's not just that. I love everything about This you. girl's pupils always bug me out. It's like, why are they stretching in opposite directions? <laughs> yeah. Or it's not the pupil, it's like the... It's like the inner... The color. The iris yeah. thing. That's our vice leader. Wait, you're the leader now. Uh, you were just, like, threatening him. <laughs> Call off the game. <laughs> There's no power in that position. Uh, I know. Yeah. Does that mean Nagisa will be the next one we like fight this chapter? Maybe. Yeah. She might just be throwing him to the wolves since he's thrown out. Yeah. Because I like, I wasn't sure of it, but I totally get the vibe. She's way older than she lets on. Yeah. It just seems like, I don't know. I, I have nothing to go off of with that. Like. It's the I can just see like, a million different thing, like possibilities why she acts the way she does. That's one of them, for sure, but how would she make herself... You know, I guess there's ways. In uh, Danganronpa 2, didn't, wasn't Junko's whole plan to uh, upload her, like, alter ego into the bodies of the Ultimate Despairs and wreak havoc across the world? Yeah, because then there'd be, like... Like, 12 of them, or however many. So someone else's consciousness theoretically could possibly be inside this little girl's body. I don't even mean that. I mean more like, what if she has, like, a, like, disease that keeps her looking like that? Or she just is really short and manages to put on a good facade? <laughs> Maybe. Like, like seriously, if you, like, saw that sprite... I don't know. With <laughs> The only thing that's keeping me from thinking that is the, uh complaints people have about this game with the pedophile stuff. I'm almost worried she's gonna get... Anyway. I think it's more the one with the pigtails that's gonna P get Probably. That. Probably. But I'd feel even worse if a little girl in a wheelchair got... You know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's I don't know either. not a lot well, to... Like, I, I'm not saying this to be weird, but... It's all, no, but I, I know what you mean. Like, 100%. But I feel like the uh, it'll probably be the Pigtails girl. Uh, yeah, that's my impression, too. But, I don't know. Maybe this one is under the most whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I almost wondered if it'd be Monica doing it. <laughs> oh, no. Out, Monica? Where are you going? Well, because, okay, here's an actual theory. So, we know that there's, like... <laughs> some some of that going on, no, no. you know. Uh, these are the worst theories. But ever. no, but listen, this has okay. some real. I'm not yeah, like trying to be gross. I'm no, just no, no, actually no, no, coming no. up with stuff. I know, I know. If we're assuming each of these kids has some type of trauma, and we're thinking with Kotoko, it could be of the more ouch nature, right? Sure. Then if Monica is trying to manipulate these kids and control them, what better way than throwing their trauma back in their face? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You're not wrong, but uh, man, I feel bad just like thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited to get to those parts of the game, though. I'm not excited, but I'm intrigued. There sure. could, definitely could have been a better choice of words there. Well, what's the word? You know what I'm trying to say. You want to see where the story will go, especially if it gets I like want to see the parts that have been hyped up to be so, so bad. <laughs> I just want to see if it's actually done, like, in a cool way, rather than, like, here's shock value and also we're gross people who love children, you know? I don't know, like, man. Show me some good plot progression. I don't want to see just creeps. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's how it'll go. Hmm. Probably not. Have a little business to take what? Why'd you do that? Business. I didn't. What kind I think my business. A button's getting stuck again. Monica always goes off on her own like that. I need a new controller or something. 
Uh, probably. How, how old is that one? It's Fine. not. That's the thing. Oh, it's what? weird. If you were an adult, that'd be sexual harassment. Is it? Oh, could it be her tummy? Do you think maybe she just has some... <laughs> Me and this kid think the same way, man. Uh. Oh, you actually went there? That topic is off limits. Jeez, I hope you die in the worst way. But don't say that. Now he's going to. I think they're all going to. Who'd you hear it from? An adult? Bum, bum, bum. Excuse you, but our little Monica does not do number two. You'll just have to settle with mine. What? Her, her what? <laughs> oh god, I hope it doesn't turn to poop stuff. Wait, that makes it sound like I'm a pervert or something. Oh no, this is such a bother. I don't think you have to worry oh, about that, man. This. You only have an image by like three other people. Yeah. What if people avoid me all the time and I can split them like <laughs> I can split them like <laughs> that's such a clever line. I love that. Oh. That actually sounds pretty good. Like a superpower. Anyway, there's no need whatsoever to worry about where Monica goes. She's not She sus because it's something we don't need to know. <laughs> yeah. I should remember to just focus on hunting demons. And also oh my god, these kids. <laughs> Their I, segments always go on so long, too. I, I like them, though. They're, it's an interesting, like, antagonist group. Yeah, because it's always some, like, crazy weirdo. But this time it's, like, just a bunch of really dumb kids. I feel like they do capture the way kids talk to each other and think pretty well. Because I've definitely Better had, than like, what I would have done. What? Better than what I would have done. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I follow. I've had pretty similar like thought lines to this Jot Jotaro kid. You know, you're relating in the worst ways to all these characters. Well, I'm just saying, like <laughs> I've been that where it's like people disappear and they're like, I have business to attend to, and I'm like, I wonder if they're just pooping. Fair enough. You know, like how often is that the case? Probably half. <laughs> exactly. You're right. We should focus. This is Monica, after all. This game surely has some purpose. Perhaps it's to send a message to the coward adults that they cannot win against us. Uh, yes. That's probably it. This game can play a vital role. Gotta respect the kid for paradise. really sticking to his plan and guns. Yeah. You were totally against it a minute ago. Did the power of being a leader go to your head? What was that? Uh, guys, Monica said no <laughs> I hate his shorts, though. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It just seems like he's got, like, an apron on for, like, work, but he's wearing shorts. He's, he's gonna hurt his knees. Well, yeah, what if he's messing with, like, sparks and stuff? <laughs> yeah, I would think he'd have, like, overalls or something. Like, you know? so, yeah, some big, tough pants. Hey, you guys. Oh, oh, my God. Here's the real fan service. Thanks for waiting. What'd you bring him? Some nice he can balance stuff on that hand milkshakes. pretty well. Yes, he can. You're too late. Monica already left. It's only three there. My sincerest apologies. I didn't know how to make them. And of course, I couldn't look it up. <laughs> uh, is this how milkshakes are supposed Why to Why are they look? purple? What flavor is that? Hurt? Strawberry. Strawberry's red. <laughs> Strawberry always I'm looks purple. Certain. I when it's sure like that. What, what? What? The rendered fat. Rendered fat? Did you really intend to make your rulers the warriors of hope drink this swill? Just try it. I think you're oh, the for. One drinking the slimy thing instead. That's an order. Oh, but how troubling. If I keep drinking it down, I'll feel it filling up my stomach. But if it's your order, master. I live to serve. I am your servant. You knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> He's so weird. <laughs> I love him though. I almost wonder what his ulterior motive is. Oh, he's got plans. I wonder, do you think it's like at all possible that Nagito is what gets everyone in the two situation? Like maybe by the end of it, he's the one that got us on that island or boat or whatever. Perhaps we'll see some of that. I um, hope, I hope we see Hajime or like. Izuru. Izuru or whatever. That'd be so cool. That would be cool. I don't know who all you see in this game. 
Um, I mean, there's a lot of like personality boxes, you know. So it leaves room for a good amount of them to show up. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing to. Do you have something you wanted to say? No. You liar. It's not just that. Like I thought, the trains aren't moving. But if we walk along the railway from here, we should be able to get out of the town, right? Hopefully. Right. I don't know why they wouldn't collapse the uh, subway rails. Yeah, it'd be like the first thing I do is cause a cave in there. Yeah. Or wait till they go in there to do it. And remember, they opened up the entrance to this place for us. We assume they did. I don't know. We don't know for sure who's doing what. Could be Nagito, and who knows what he wants. True. Let's hurry up and go. Let's just run from here. Let's <laughs> just sprint. Book it. Maybe it would be better if we pretended like we were dead to avoid attacks. I think it'd be better if you did something instead of sitting here thinking about it. Hey, Toko, do you know how to do a good zombie impression? <laughs> She's doing one all the time, 24-7. She is a zombie. Oh, Kamaru. I only have one heart. Oh, dang, don't get hit. Give me my health back. What's give, that? Give me a save point. <laughs> little... <laughs> you scared her. Oh, it's a little, like, white side of Monokuma. Oh, like it. Oh, you can see the black foot. To me, a Matakuma. This place is so dark. I miss the surface where it was bright. Worst well, character. Got really banana. Slightly brighter. Okay, I can save here. Do we get health when we save? No. Wow. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna make that sound every time I poop. Wow. I hope she's not using the bathroom on that thing. I don't know. She sure looks relieved. Yeah. Sir, so, uh. No, that's where I'm supposed to go. What's over here? Any secret? No, this was the way I was supposed to go. No! Total waste of money. Yeah. Huh? What? Did we pay? Do we have to pay? <laughs> oh, that's probably the oh. way out, or like to another spot. Okay. All right, let's go down. Yeah. Also, I love that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, this is like in kind of Monokuma colors. Yeah, the train. this is a very creepy looking one. Yes, but we already knew that. <laughs> Can you see the future? I know, but to see it in person stop like this makes me kind of down, is all. Shut up, Kamaru. Jeez, are you really going to get depressed over every little thing? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. We should yeah, you're right. I will. <laughs> <laughs> she really does, though. What if something goes wrong? I don't know. We've been locked up for a year and a half. Yeah. You're bound to be all over the place emotionally. Believing a lie so strongly just makes the truth that much more painful. Pop idols aren't virgins. Lottery numbers are fixed. This world is much easier to deal with if you look at it rationally. I think you might have gone a bit off topic there. <laughs> for now, there's no other option than to try, right? You're right. Something this is like a great about? ambush spot. Are you worried about something? Mm-hmm. Huh? No, 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 not really. It's I feel not like every zombie game I've played has always been in tunnels where it's the worst. <laughs> yeah. It's just, didn't I tell you? I'm afraid of the dark. Oh, <laughs> great. Is there anything you're not afraid of? <laughs> is that all? There's something else bugging you, isn't there? Listen. If you have a bad feeling about this, or you can sense some kind of danger... What, do you think I'm some kind of psychic danger detector or something? Kinda. <laughs> if we're gonna do this, let's hurry up and do it now. We'll have time to think later. I just have good survival instincts at this point. Hmm? Probably. Uh, okay. She's learned to stay on the move. Mm. Oh yeah, I really wish it gave me my health back between chapters, though. Ooh, a spike -o. I'm only 16. I don't want to die. I don't get it. I don't want to die. I mean, I'm just 16. You know, I didn't even confess my feelings to Taka. Isn't that a guy from the first game? His name's like... Taka? Who's Taka? He's the ultimate moral compass guy. Oh, this is probably one of the survivors then. Maybe. And I haven't seen Grandpa in like two years. And there's still a lot of things I want to do. There's still a lot of people I want to see before I die. No, I mean, those reasons shouldn't even matter. I don't want to die because I don't want to die. And it's obvious that everyone in my family feels the same way, but they died. They got killed. They got killed without a single pause. Like, it was automatic. Like, it was nothing. I want revenge. I want to do to them everything they did to my family. I want to kill all those dang children like it was nothing. 
Ethan, did you write this note? <laughs> I don't want to kill the kids. I don't know. You you say that a lot. I just want them to stop. I don't know. And I mean, the that one, one that one cut scene. You were like, if she would have just like started stabbing the kids right now. <laughs> I I mean, look, they're obvi- they're killing people. Okay, there. I don't condone it, and I think you should look for a different way. But at this point, well. You know, it'd be done. Winners take all. (laughs) Right. Only Monica. Only get rid of Monica, and I think you're good. But I can't. Right now, if she's a kid, it's it's up for grabs. We don't even know what she is. Yeah. I can't do anything. The only thing I can do is just hide. I'm so ashamed. I can't even avenge my family. I'm just a coward. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I survived. I should have been the first to die. So that might be that one guy's family member. I I thought his name was Ty. I was pretty sure. Oh, it'll give me health, please? It will. Give a battery. Now give me health. I'm I'm weak. It'll give... Oh, I don't need damage. bullets. I need health. Well, you've gone a long time without getting hit. It's only in the boss fight. I'll just switch to Toko if things get rough. Also, these tunnels are massive. Why'd they, like, already start collapsing them already? I, I wouldn't I feel very safe walking in here. What? 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 Like, why? They're already so collapsed. I feel like I'd be at risk of it, like, falling even more on me. Maybe. I mean, the pillars are still standing, so that's kind of a good thing. Or most of them are. Anyone around this corner? They like to hide them around corners. Look at me, boy. What? Oh, they're getting beefier. I was trying to go for the headshot, but I freaking failed. Why is this train so, like, high? Are they always this tall? <laughs> I feel like the scale might be a little bit off here, because this is a massive train tunnel. <laughs> like, normally they do not jut out this far. Why are the doors so big? It's made for giants. Maybe it's made for Monokumas. Oh, ooh, little shiny. Oh. Demon name, Kanandosu, real name Kanan Nakajima. A demon who's real pretty and doesn't even wear much makeup. A super perverted demon who worked as the manager of the baseball team. When hunting, use a handsome Monokuma to make it feel desire for the last time before you kill it. Could this be... Is that any last names that the other characters have? Ah, uh, not that I recognize. Mm. Um, a super perverted demon? Does that mean she's like a pedophile? Because aren't the... <laughs> Aren't the guys riding these kids? Uh, maybe. Sorry, I don't know. I'm just on the lookout for anything weird now. I'm sure you'll I'm know like, when you see it. I'm super paranoid. <laughs> like, we're, we're, we're going to keep playing this game. Like, we'll see it through, but I'm a little scared. I mean, it can't get that bad. It's supposed to get reason, sold. It's getting darker True. And darker. Shouldn't we start heading back now? Oh, don't say that. Let's just keep going a bit farther. <laughs> Guys, run. Oh my god. <laughs> They're such dumb voices. What was the point of the bomber, guys? Hmm. Okay, I just need to shoot the back of their heads. Manakuma. I might just want you to run right now. I can walk. But I want to find out how to kill them, though. I don't think you can right now. Well, they're really slow. Yeah, it's kind of hard to even get, like, around them. Yeah, it just blocked it. I'm out of here, bro. Yeah. I'm freaking leaving this place. Anything to read? Um. Not chasing us anymore. They're not? Okay, I thought I heard them, like, right behind well, go us. Go shoot them now. Yeah, I'll see if, if they're not going to bother you when you're something. in the car. He's coming, run! No! Oh! Yeah, they won't come in here. Whatever. Okay. We'll, we'll figure it out in due time. I'm sure we're going to get, like, the knockback bullet or something. Probably. Or... I wonder if... No, dance probably wouldn't have worked. Shield probably would have blocked it. Yeah. <laughs> Having luck this bad... It's almost comical. I'm the opposite of Makoto. Ultimate unlucky student. <laughs> oh, that's probably what she's referencing. No, it isn't. It's not even one micron funny. Ow! What? What was that? Something... What's wrong with her eyes glitching out? It felt like something fell on me for 
from above. What's wrong? Of course, it stopped the second I mentioned it. Thanks, game. <laughs> uh, from above? Oh, what's going on with Toka? Uh, 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 this is your fault for yelling so loud. What do we do? I think it's the guys with the grenades. Get in the train car. Oh, is she gonna turn? Oh no, she's gonna turn freaky deaky. <laughs> we gotta run, Dekomaru! Hurry, let's dash! To our horizon! <laughs> hey! Wait a sec! What the heck is going on? <laughs> Might not be able to control her anymore. Oh my god! <laughs> Which way do I go? This way! The way you came! Where's the shield guys? I don't know, they probably left. They don't want to get... Oh look, they're cheering us! Chop, chop, chop. I never play this girl, so I don't remember how to play her. Get out of my way! No! Why is she unwilling to hurt children? It's stupid. She just can't. They're gonna, like, get collapsed, too, in here. This is cool. It gives you a section you can play as without having to worry about the batteries, though. Yeah. Here I go! Why is she Naruto running? The scissors are heavy. I'm gonna charge up my super move. Oh, I took them all out. <laughs> Toko's out for blood. Wait, go back. There. I need the money. There you go. <laughs> this is more important. Have we, we found out what we spend? Oh, yeah, it's those shops. I'm gonna start charging up my attack now. Yeah, there y'all are. Come at me. Come on, come on, come on. And then I got this move. Oh, what's on her thigh? Did you see that? Yeah, I mentioned that the first episode. Uh, someone said they thought it was Genocide Jack's, like, tally marks for people they killed. Her what mark? Power mark? Tally marks. So, like, every time she kills someone, she adds a mark. Oh, I see. Tallying them up. Also, I forgot to make it a game capture so they can see them when you what? adjust your... <laughs> no! Because no. now I put it too low. I'm trying to, like, find the right spot. Turn it up, bro. It makes it more realism. They feel like they're here with us. It makes it more annoying to watch. I don't know. I like little stuff like that. <laughs> hmm. Girl was not going to save me. Boy, crazy! Why? Why did your personality change? You didn't even shoot yourself with the stun gun! Her brain got damaged. Yeah. Huh? I didn't tell you. <laughs> My personality switches when I go unconscious too. Unconscious! This way until I go unconscious again. <laughs> well, this way is more useful. Punch her. <laughs> what? Wait, is she gonna be this way the whole chapter? You think? Oh, maybe. Sneezing is the same way. My personality totally changes. It's downright refreshing. Blow some dust on her. Get a little feather duster and go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We might have to <laughs> if she gets bad enough. You also change by sneezing. What happens when you get a cold? <laughs> ah, crazy! Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Probably just a flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. Uh, you'd have to call in sick, like for sure. <laughs> I love the way she talks. Props to the voice actress. Oh, thank God. Actually, I kind of like the other one. <laughs> she really did change. Hmm. I, I don't know what happened, but I can take a guess. Jeez. You saved my butt, though. One tough break after another. How unlucky are you? <laughs> Makoto takes all the luck. Yeah, <laughs> you inherited all the luck in the family. <sighs> I just want to get out of this cry place. session number yeah. 562. Every five it? minutes, we got to do this. <laughs> Is that right? Is it really impossible? I'll never if I was Toko, I'd just slap her and be like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're moving. That might be the case. Huh? But even if you can't escape, you can still survive. All you need to do is face them, fight them. Fight? 
Toko, what are you saying? There's no way I <laughs> you, you killed like a giant robot just at the end of the last yeah, you've chapter. Yeah, you taken out a lot of these things. Don't be so sure. Wait. Hold on. Over there. Huh? What, are the kids watching again? Uh-oh. Oh my god. It's a TV? <laughs> what is it? A monitor? Really, you is guys can have killer kind of robots, company? but not like a two-wheeler <laughs> to haul it with? Oh, he's gonna be the table. Thank you. Nagisa? Oh, it's that guy. Jotaro! Is he gonna be the next one we end up facing then? He might be. Huh? What's with this creepy little kid? Uh, am I on already? <laughs> he looks so intimidating oh, on the screen, but. The after Kotoko introduced me with a joke. Hey, is this kid with them too? Is he a part of that Warriors hmm. of Hope? Or what are they? I wonder what they even want from us, though. Y it seems like yeah. so. I mean, he's trying to kill us, so he's probably going to try and lead us into some trap or something. Why not just be like, here's a thousand Monokumas, good luck, guys. <laughs> here's a bomb disguised as a TV, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm the priest, Jachiro Kimura. I know. I'll warn you <laughs> Don't say my name out loud. Oh my god. Out loud. He's like Bloody Mary. It's a girl. Mess with me, brat. Take off that mask. I'm sweating just looking at it. N no, horrible. If I do that, your eyeballs are gonna explode. How are they even doing this right now? Didn't they get rid of all the internet? Huh? Uh, really long yeah, HDMI cable. <laughs> Someone's eyeballs melting off because of my face. Oh. By the way, do you know? Is it just an urban legend that they use bugs to make food guy? Do they? I don't think they do. I don't know. It's like wasabi and stuff with the taste and the color. It's suspicious. He has a good point, though. <laughs> it's suspicious. You, I'm sure you've heard this before, but you are totally gross. Duh? Gross? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, maybe I I just don't understand what cheerful is. Then I apologize. He's so nice. I'm sorry. I know he's gonna try and kill us, but still. Yeah, what what, what do you want though? I'm really sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry. I beg you forgive me. I'm sorry. And he can talk fast. You did enough already. You're grossing me out. Huh? You don't forgive me? No, no, what's your point? <laughs> if you don't forgive me, does that mean you hate me? No, we don't hate you. Just be nice to him. I don't know. I think he wants us to hate us by that look on his face. Oh, maybe. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe you're just teasing me like boys who tease the girls they like. <laughs> Good. I mean, if you guys are little boy lovers and just... Oh, wait, no, you, you turned weird. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we were siblings in a previous life, I'd still hate you. What are you trying to say? I, I don't really get it. What is going on? <laughs> well, I can understand that. This is like a yawn after all. It just comes out of my mouth involuntarily. Nobody can make anything of it. I don't even understand it either. Well, we're all on the same page so far, then. This whole thing is just killing. Uh, what does he want? <laughs> what? Well, he'll never get to the point. The kids will just turn around with the TV. He just wanted to say hi. <laughs> Probably. You guys must be pretty laid back if you're actually interested in what I'm saying. As expected of demons. I've had enough of this. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. I was just trying to be nice. I wanted to tell you something. <laughs> this is that you being nice. Okay. Tell us what? Um, it's regrettable, but the one with the wristband can't leave the city. C can't leave? 
Why? You'll blow up. Well, you're a target for our game, right? The game isn't fair if there aren't any rules. Everything was already thought out. So that means there's a limit in this game. You have to stay in the game map. Probably. L limit? Don't tell me. The reason that boy exploded when he tried to leave the town swimming. Huh? Wasn't because he had Taco Bell earlier. It's <laughs> <laughs> not our fault. It's not like we wanted him to blow up or Don't anything. you, though? It's automatic. Now, they'd probably prefer to tear him limb from limb. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, though, if he could swim that good, I wonder what Owie could swim like. See, yeah, I was just thinking that. Like, she must have crazy skills. Must be a dolphin. <laughs> okay. What? You should have said that in the first place. Omaro here was about to explode. But some things are better left unknown. Adults say that all the time. So you're an adult. Guys, kill him. There you go. It would be better for Mr. Pig if he didn't find out he was about to be bacon. It doesn't change the fact I want to know who Mr. voice acted Pig this person. They did such a good job. I want to know what they look so like, because a lot of times, like, when you're hearing a voice, you can, like, picture in your head, they probably look like this. And usually it's not accurate anyway, but, like, you can get an idea. This I, guy? I think, I'm guessing it's a girl who did it. It's how Maybe. it sounds, honestly, because usually girls are really good at doing, like, little boy voices. They do a lot of boy voices just in general. Like, you never really see guys do girl voices all that much. Well, it's because, like, when guys, you know, their voice drops so much as they grow up. But girls, I mean, they, it either gets higher or stays kind of the same. Well, even for, like, actual male characters in games, you see them voiced by girls, like, all the time. Yeah. Or, like, shows, anime. Oh, d d don't go acting all philosophical. This is actually about voiced this. by a boy. This game's rules are managed way too loosely. <laughs> He's really good. <laughs> yeah, he is. You're wrong. This isn't a game. I mean, people are dying. I don't know. I'm playing it as a game. We're chilling. I think this is funny. He died. Haha. Uh -huh. To call what happened to him a, a game? There are some games that require you to risk your life. Yeah, she know. What do you mean? Hello? Table tennis. Can you not just ignore me? I don't yeah, this kid's trauma is like ignored. being left on his own forever. For sure. Like hey, abandoned. Um, wish to you not like more. <laughs> Maybe you not. Ignore? Maybe it's ghosts. Like ghosts. I don't like ghosts more. You see ghosts? Ghosts are always cursing people. And killing them all of a sudden. That's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. So mad. You put someone else on the TV. Saying things that make no sense. <laughs> That's right. Just keep hating me. All you have to do is hate me. You know, this game is interesting because it. I'm really finding a lot of the like comedic value in this kid and stuff. And literally, what's her name? Kamaru is like sitting here. Being told she has to play this game until she dies, basically. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, find a way to beat it, but who even knows how you start doing that? Kill kids. Well, I'd get the job done. Number one fifth of the way there. I'm from the hate planet where being hated makes you feel good. And it's easier <laughs> feel to good. Just <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, don't worry. I hate gross little boys like you to death. Huh. What you just said, doesn't it kind of sound like love? If you flip it around? If you flip it around? <laughs> I was worried, so I had to make double sure. That's why I called you guys. Double sure? If you guys see this, you're gonna hate me even more! Ta-da! Oh, guys, he's going to show something gruesome. Yeah. Uh-oh. What's the deal? Oh, no. This is execution stuff. Ooh. I thought he was about to give birth. <laughs> yeah, this is a very... Oh, this is nice. Uh, now what?
Oh, so this is his artwork. Oh, is it Byakuya who's there? No, Byakuya can't be dead. He's in the second game. Oh, it could be fake. That's true. Or were those real people? Oh, yeah, those were real people for sure. Uh, so is he the one that's been screwing them to the walls and stuff? Because I remember asking that, like, why are they all pinned up to the walls? Uh, just for their art freakiness, I guess. Probably. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. <laughs> yeah, what would he do if we just turn around and we're like, yeah, that's really great. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, I hunted him down at the shopping district. And this one, I hunted in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, are you disgusted? But I can't just stop. Making dioramas is like the only hobby I have. So how well, it's gonna do what you love. I put a bad taste in your mouth, so now you hate me, right? I don't know. I didn't really put it past you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you guys aren't affected by this. Because you have disgusting hobbies too. Oh no, it's because I'm a kid deep down and you should let me go. <laughs> Please, just stop already! Why do you want me to stop? It's annoying! <laughs> because you already hate Watch me. Watch this conversation know? goes on for the next because three episodes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> because it's a waste of time. Because you're tired of it. Because you don't want to be? I mean, I don't know for sure. I'm just a kid. So I don't know what you really mean. Just a kid? I thought you, like, thought kids were everything. Hmm. You... How crazy can you be? And if I am, whose fault is it? The rotten adults. Well, it doesn't really matter. After all... I have so much fun now compared to before. I should thank Mr. and Mrs. Demons. I want to say thank you for teaching me that I'm nothing but ugly, nasty, worthless filth. I live like filth, surrounded by filth, inside this paradise where no adults can get in the way. Is he singing? <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, stop stop that. Props to the voice actor though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what what is she even supposed to do now? Find a way to kill him, all I guess. Or at least just get the wristband off. <laughs> like, there's got to be a way. Probably. <laughs> I feel I like we need to go find Nagito, but even then, why would he do it? He wants to see us despair, I bet. I feel like we're going to get to the end of the game, and it'll be like, Oh, I could have just used the gun on the wristband <laughs> or something if that's stupid. all it is, I'm seriously going to go, brr. Crying like a kid won't make them treat you like one. <laughs> Are you really going to just accept it? Be their prey? No, You're I just not. need a minute. There's one thing to do. You can't run, you have to fight. No, I'm gonna run while fighting. <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible! No, it's not impossible. You have Master's gun, don't you? No, that's not what I mean. I'm not like you. I'm just a normal high school student. She wasn't even a high school anything, student. You know? <laughs> You're a faker. Just running would be hard enough, but to fight? That's impossible. And I'm so hungry! <laughs> just why do you think I'm here? What? I'm not telling you to deal with it on your own. You better not forget. She blushed. <gasps> she blushed. <No> Toko. <laughs> if it's impossible to do on your own, well then I guess I have to do it with you. That's so, so sweet. Just a little more. Just fight a little bit more. It's okay to rely on. Oh you. my God, my bestie! Y you've already relied on me. Isn't it a bit late to ask that? You know how many hits I've taken for you? <laughs> yeah. You're right. Sorry. Now get up, baby girl. If you have time to apologize, might as well do it outside. The atmosphere here is oppressive. 
And the ceiling might collapse at any moment. Yeah. Hey, Toko. I already told you, don't apologize. No, it's not that. It's a thank you. Thank you. I knew it. W what are you being so honest for? It's just... Ugh, if they're already this close in like chapter two, I, I'm very curious to see how their relationship will proceed in like by the end of the game, you know? Assuming they even stick together the full time. I, you know, I really, part of me is scared. I really don't know if Kamaru, like, I mean, I've, I never heard any mention of her in the second game or no. seen anything about her outside of this game. It would be really interesting if she like dies at the end or something. I don't know if that will happen, but Toko could too. Don't hear about it in the second game. I guess we don't know. Uh, maybe Byakia references her, but I don't remember. I yeah, I don't. It was like like a year and a half ago. We finished the second game, I think. Mm -hmm. So come on, enough with that grossness, and let's hurry up and get outside. Okay. Yeah. And go back to my house. Oh yeah. <laughs> we can. Uh, you like scissors, don't you? <laughs> Gross. Anyway. <laughs> Gage is creep enough for two. That's right. I got creep for plenty. That is not a compliment. I'm taking it as a compliment. <laughs> well. It's in the eye of the beholder. Oh, no. And you see? I knew there... Fine. Yeah, this thing. Woo, what is it? Aw. Dead guy. You should have made him like a zombie for that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe it's a hint he's like alive or something. I don't know. I don't know why he would be, or like who would be keeping him, but I just burped in my mouth. It was Let's so hurry gross. And get outside. Can we go this way now, or like? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure we can get out that way? No. Um, I don't know. Th then why are you going that way? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Gosh, I just want to explore, woman. Watch the whole way out to the entire game is just, like, around that corner. <laughs> just a big magical door that says exit. Yeah, it's and like you come perfect, back at the end. <laughs> perfect long subway, like, train that just takes us out. It's like, I told you! Hmm. Darn it. I always leave at the best part of the song. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, fun. join him! I don't even know what's going on anymore. What is the plot? I don't even care. I'm digging it. Let's go back. I told you, woman. What was even the point of including that? I guess it's just to keep us down here. Uh, There's too many of them. It's too dangerous to go that way. Oh, uh, who's the whiner now? Boo hoo! I'm gonna go up and get killed now. <laughs> yeah. What should we do? The don't other way. I'm not your personal GPS. That we've tried to go twice now? <laughs> Sorry, you're just so reliable, I thought I'd ask. Reliable? I'm not used to compliments. Well, well it is true that my brain is far superior <laughs> Your brain is split in half, lady. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, let's see. It might be better to head back underground for now, to find another exit. Back through the underground? Are you sure you're okay with that? What do you mean? I mean, you're afraid of the dark, aren't you? The underground is pretty dark. You're talking like we have a choice. Shit. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> she didn't realize it. Oh. Are you trying to be an example? To show me how to go forward? I think she just remembered there. something. I She's see. afraid of the dark? As expected of a true mentor. <laughs> what was she cussing about? She remembered she was scared of the dark. Oh. What the heck, you freaky deaky looking kids? <laughs> Kill it. What do you want? Give me something. Give me something good. Oh, knockback. That'll be for the shield guys, I bet. Yeah, for sure. Tutorial time. Looks like you've obtained knockback. Hey, man, get it. Oh, okay. Ha 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 I mean, literally, it's not the code that's making them fly backwards yeah, all of a sudden. Yeah. But 
This gun belongs to Future Foundation, right? So why are the kids giving me bullets? They know something. <gasps> I, I, I guess maybe there might be some kids in the group who want to support us. Been giving us bullets. Huh? They're not even supposed to know we have this. Yeah, it does seem odd. Maybe it's a Nagito, like, dishing out commands when no one else is looking. He's like, give her some bullets. Give that her some bullets. That is very possible. I want to see her get her but hopes up so then she can despair. Uh, Let's just oh, Nagito episode. isn't about despair. Yeah, I guess even the despair version of him is still, like, just creepy hope. <laughs> right. Didn't it, wasn't his whole thing, like, joining the group to make hope instead or something? Or he was never, like, a true ultimate despair, but just kind of fell into it? I don't really remember. I, I just remember there was something weird about it. All right, let me... There we go, knock mm. back. Oh, oh, oh there he is. Guy again. Counter it with the new ammo. Thank you, I needed help to know how to do that. Well, some of them got some blood. Hello? Come on, group up, group up. Boom. You don't pick your shields back up. You evaporate them. Awesome. That shield is so sturdy. Is it Gelalumen? What is Gelalumen? Oh, Duralumen. Oh, <laughs> She's so stupid. I don't even know what Duralumen is. Did you miss a coin? <laughs> nah, fam. Oh my god. I'm a gold digger. I never miss my gold. Would you be the type? I always thought gold digger meant you picked your nose a lot. That would, always... That'd be like ear picker. Just what? His boogers are green, but earwax is gold. Is just out of the oh, question. well. So, because well, no, I thought because I saw that in a SpongeBob episode, was like, being, it's, I don't it, know. It's a turn of phrase where it's like, if you see someone picking their nose, like really old fossil people, <laughs> that's mean, sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> but older people would be like, oh, you digging for gold in there? Ah, uh, okay. So. See, I, I always thought of it more literally with, like, the ear canal and the earwax is yellow. No, so whenever someone said, like, oh, she's a gold digger, I always <laughs> thought, like, ew, that's kind of gross. Oh, Why she is she picking her nose all the time? That's gross. So. Nope, she just wants your money. I learned just going to get darker, the better option there. What? Is it really going it was just to be a okay? week ago I learned that, actually. <laughs> it was, like, a few years ago. Probably when I was 16. No comment. <laughs> well, what? Probably gonna be fine. Can we get a flashlight? You suck at cheering people up. Can't you choose your words more wisely? I bet Master Byaki is on the other side of that dark tunnel. There you oh, go. I'm sure you're just laughing at me in your head, thinking I'm just some scared little girl. No, we but are. I am simping a little. <laughs> I'm not laughing about it. I don't like dark places either. But honestly, for some reason, I feel at ease. Why do you feel at ease? You enjoy taking pleasure in other people's suffering? Now it's because you're with me, bestie. My suffering tastes delicious and you're planning on a four-course meal, huh? <laughs> Not on your suffering. <laughs> Sorry, you sure this is stupid. A bitchy personality. <laughs> <laughs> what? Trash at a we made all this up. I, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean that I'm sure you're working hard, too. Uh, of course. Even I'm at my limit. I'm scared of blood and the dark. And I'm just so tired, but there's no <laughs> probably find a place to take a nap. I'm not some crybaby, sleeping shift girl. Whiny crybaby, that's me. What? Yeah! The... Yeah! Why'd you get scared? What? What was that? Sorry. I tried to scare you, but then your reaction scared me. <laughs> These are the two biggest, like, girl failures I've ever seen uh, talking to each other. I know. Huh? You really are an idiot. I was just trying to ease the tension a little. Yeah, well, now I'm more afraid of your stupidity than the dark. Oh, sorry. Their friendship got to an all-time high, so they needed to kick it down a notch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, what the heck? They're the type to like literally be the constantly the arguing old married couple. Mm hmm What was the administration thinking? Maybe it's subtle political satire? <laughs> what? I don't even know what that is. An underground shopping area? Hey, what are you guys doing to that? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing to that now? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're air Ew. hubbing! Ew! You kids are freaky. Oh, and she's recording- This is, this is gross. It's nasty. <laughs> 
Oh my god, it's only like the five um, hundredth one we've seen. Mmm. Um, the children playing with the bodies. They're different than the ones who give us items. They look the same, but something's definitely different about them. Well. Just like adults, some are good, some are bad. Don't waste time thinking about it. Yes, the ones dishing out ammunition are definitely the good ones. Well. Then, do you think the ones who help us know what's wrong to kill adults? But now that you mention it, didn't you tell me before that they seem like they're under orders? And did I tell you it's a waste of time thinking about brats who've gone insane? If you have the energy to think about that nonsense, or nonsense like that, use it for picking up your pace. God, I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, sorry. I can't help but wonder about it. Well, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode. I know it's a bit of a shorter one, but to be honest with you, we're just kind of doing the episodes at whatever length we record at. We're pretty EP today, so we're going to call it here for today, so probably only an hour-long episode. We had a massive argument. We were punching each other. We were kicking each other. We were fighting each other. We were killing each other. What, what, when did this happen? <laughs> this was in between the episode. Cage was like, I love Kamaru. And I was like, I love Toko. So then we had to kill each other over it. Heck, I love Toko more too. I thought I thought I'd be like loving Kamaru's character, but she's kind of a crybaby so far. <laughs> I like Kamaru. She's a big old failure. No, I like her, but Toko's just better. To- Toko is pretty cool. But I'm excited to see Kamaru's, like, because Toko is developed already. Like, you see it a lot that she's, like, more mature and just, like, willing to push on and push on. Um, it's still a major simp for Byakuya, but I'm excited to see the development of Kamaru. Mwah. And more than anything, Mwah. I'm excited to see their relationship develop. Mwah. Why are you, who are you, who are you kissing right now? Mwah. No one wants that. That's I'm kissing gross. Jerry. Hear me, Jerry? I love you. Mwah. From Undertale? Mm, I'm just hoping there's a Jerry out there who's listening. Oh my god, how do you know? <laughs> Maybe I should have picked a more general name. Is Jerry very general for kids our age? Uh, or I guess people kids, 40 but... years old. What? For people 40 years old. Yeah, Jerry hey, is like it's a me, Jerry year. Smith. Hey, what's up, guys? I guess, yeah, if you're like 13 and your name is Jerry, it's over, man. Yeah, your life is forfeit. You're done. You're going to become one of the ultimate warriors of the, hope from what, how much you get bullied. <laughs> what's a young dude's name? Blake? I see. I hear Blake a lot. I knew a couple Blakes in school. Chris? Chris? Maybe. I feel like Chris is like 25 to 30 at this point. Caleb? Ca- I knew a Caleb. I knew a Caleb. I've known a ton of Calebs. Yeah, there's actually a few. There's annoying Calebs. Calebs I really like to be friends with. There's a few of them. Yeah. I hope they're all watching so they can guess who's who. Uh, in the same room with each other, too. You got a... Uh, Jaquees? <laughs> <laughs> I did not know a single person named Jaquise, but... That was actually my given name. What is your given name? The one I was born with. The m- Is that true? Is that what a given name is? No, I just made it up. It was given to me, and I was like, I'm not going to be Jaquise, bro. What the frick? <laughs> oh, so on your birth certificate, it just says, like, Jaquise Ratatak? Yeah, Jaquise Ratatak. That's my uh... born name. Well, guys, you better respect him. Don't dead name him. Don't be like... Guys, that's offensive. Don't even joke, because my name's Jaquise. <laughs> you know, I've heard of that. There was a... Have you ever seen that Gecko show thing? I've seen the Gecko commercials. No, no. It's the guy who's in the Gecko suit, and he answers phone calls. No. Oh, I mean, you don't watch any good YouTube. I watch um, Discord meme shorts. <laughs> like, I'll, I stand to... I'm still correct. And, and anime music videos with good songs. That's sad. And sometimes... But anyways, so the gecko short, the gecko guy, he's dressed in a gecko outfit and he's like therapy gecko or whatever. And he takes phone calls. Uh Uh-huh. And it's random phone calls. There was one guy who was like, you know, I applied to my dream job, but I might fail the drug test. So the gecko was like, well... If it was really your dream job, you'd be able to do drugs there. <laughs> and then he's like, that's such a good point. And it's a, a lot of advice like that. And it's fake, right? Well, I mean, it's just like, I don't think it's meant to be like I'm an actual therapist. It's like, I'm just a guy dressed in a gecko suit replying to the people. But he's a real people he's giving yeah, advice Yeah, he, he's to? talking to real people. Like, it's not scripted? No, 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 nothing like that. Oh, okay. Then there's like one lady who called with like some real problems. And he was like, you should go see a therapist. And she's like... 
yeah, probably. And he's like, I am just a guy in a gecko outfit, you know? <laughs> what, what is this? Is this like YouTube videos? Yeah, it's just like YouTube videos he makes. They're like 10 minutes long, and it's just a bunch of different calls he takes. I assume he live streams it. Just random people call him? Anyone can call. I yeah. assume you probably have to live in America, so he doesn't have to pay for it, but... That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> but there was one guy whose name was like... Like Jimmy or something. It was a really like young kid sounding name, you know? Uh-huh. And he was talking about how he hated it because he felt like he was constantly a kid and how he wanted his name to be something different. So he just called the guy because a lot of these people just have like random, you know, not super big problems, but stuff they still want fixed, you know, Mm -hmm. that they just call and talk about. And that was this guy's. And he was like, I feel like I should be like a Michael instead. And the gecko guy was like, you definitely sound more like a Michael. And he's like, yeah. Yeah. I'll be Michael now then, or something like that. I mean, you can change your name legally. I know, but it just like, because normally when you hear about like names and dead names, it's about like transgender people, right? Because like, you know, if you're transgender, you'll get rid of the... I had no idea what a dead name was until the other day. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Someone in the Discord mentioned dead name, and I was like, who killed your name? (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah, but you know what it is now, right? Yeah, just the name they uh, change from when they switch right genders, so like right? if you had a feminine name at birth and you end up being trans the feminine name like Gets janet killed. what'd you say oh would get killed and then it's dead yeah and it's like very rude to call trans people by their dead names obviously hopefully really? that goes without saying oh man i just did that the other day too <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> but uh so i just this is an interesting concept that would be cool if it applied to other things what do you mean? Like, like, just if that was something more people did. Like, to, like, reinvent their identity, you know? I kind of saw a post about this, like, on Pinterest that I thought was interesting. But it talked about how it'd be really cool if, like, when you turn 13, like, or not even 13, like, 18, it's just, like... You can, like, rewrite your yeah, like, name you can, and, like, you get a certificate, you can change your name and everything. And right, like, like a, a different coming-of-age type thing, you know? Like, a way to, like, be like, okay, I'm not this kid I was, because... I was the kid Ethan for so many years, and I still very much feel like the kid Ethan. But if I were to, like, change my name, not that I'm super, you know, want to do that. Does it cost money to change your name? I think it's, like, $300, because you have to, like, update legal documents. This would probably be a lot of labor. (laughs) Uh, That's something I always hear but from uh, trans people online, is it's, like, such a pain in the butt to actually go through with it, because you have to change, like, birth certificates and... Uh, like court things, social security is a big one. Your do license plate. A lot of people plate. just skip it. And sure, I think some people do. Because I mean, everyone. Well, not everyone, but most people will just like call you whatever you want. I mean, even your job will like give you a name tag that says whatever you want. Right. Like I think if I went to my work, people was like, I want to be named Darth Volumeal. They would probably not do that. But if I pick something that was normal, they would. I bet. Darth Volumeal. Yeah. I was- I was going to say, like, Darth Vader, and I'm like, nah, I can do better. <laughs> so I came up with Volumule. Welcome back, Trad Tech, everybody. It's me, Gage, and I'm here with my boy, Darth Volumule. It's, Darth Volumule's my Star Wars OC, guys. Please don't make fun of him. <laughs> what color is his lightsaber? Well, he's red. You Are can't, Sith always red? Yes, you can't be a Darth without a red lightsaber. I would <laughs> this be. This guy doesn't know Star Wars lore. I have lore. a pink lightsaber. There is no pink light. Well, actually, I don't think there is. No, that black guy that played in Star Wars, he was like, give me a purple lightsaber. That please. Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah. He's yeah, like, but, I want a purple one. Yeah, but you're no Samuel L. Jackson. I could be. No, they've like made lore just for that. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it was like... Uh, hey, I don't blame him. No, purple's great. I'd pick a purple one, too. I don't know. Star Wars lore is so interesting, but I do not like the movies at all. You'd be a good guy and have a red lightsaber because my favorite color is red. Um, like in the old Star Wars lore, I think red wasn't an evil lightsaber. But these lightsabers are made out of crystals. So when you pour your I'm so angry and hateful, like force energy into it, like the dark side, it bleaches them red, which is why they always have the red lightsaber crystals. Crazy. Even the universe is biased against me. (laughs) A little bit. But no, I've never liked Star Wars movies or shows or really anything. I just really like the lore of it. There's one lore channel I watched about Star Wars called, like, 
this I don't remember. It's like the Star Wars guy or something. But he has really he like does like comic book analyses, and he made like a really cool fan made Mace Windu thing. Sh- should I? Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Should I just keep moving while we're doing this? We're supposed to do the outro, and we've just been oh talking. yeah, this was meant to be the outro. Yeah, we were tired. I mean, I'm still tired. I don't want to play the game, but I guess that was just what we all talked about for a while. No, that's fine. We can end it there. No, no you can go on, but I, I'm just like. I, I just don't want to get locked into something we can't leave. Yeah, that's true. Like, it'd be really annoying to be like, oh, here's a boss <laughs> fight now, but you wanted to go home and do something else, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Okay, well, go on. Keep talking about Star Wars lore. Oh, this is really interesting. Some of it is, yeah. Like, okay, the only Star Wars media I was super head over heels for is probably The Force Unleashed. Both of those games are so banging, and the guy like for Lego it... Star Wars... I wish I remembered the guy's name. The like main actor in it is really good. The one who plays Star Killer. Bald guy. He's well, he's not bald. He's just buzz cutted. But he was the main guy in a uh, Days Gone. The guy you played as, same same actor. Mm. And if you if you like look at his face, sometimes I'd just be shooting zombies, and it's like, oh my god, I'm playing a Star Killer. What do they make him look the same too? Yeah, it's like based off his face. Oh, cool. So I wish I remember that guy's name because he's really cool. It's just Star Killer. Now the real guy's name. <laughs> I try to remember actors' names because it feels disingenuous to only call them by their role. Anyways, I don't want to talk anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. That's your outro. Yeah, Star Wars lower ramp for 15 it's, minutes. It wasn't that much. Yeah, we talked about dead names, too. Yeah. Well, which would you change your name to, Ethan? If I had to pick. Would you pick it? Just tell me the type of name you'd want it to sound like if you can't pick. Well, honestly, a name I always thought was cool was just Max. Mm. I just like that name in general. Max makes me think of a dog's name. See, it reminds me of, like, Max Caulfield from Life is Strange, who I thought was so cool for such a long time. She still is cool, by the way. <laughs> but is, it's a, You is. know, it's a good, like, gender-neutral name. I feel like it has, like, innocent enough connotations. Like, if my name was, like, Bill, like, when I hear Bill, I think, like, I'm Bill, I'm big, I'm tough, I drive a pickup truck. Which I would not want a name like that. <laughs> I wish your born name was Bill now. <laughs> I would be so sad if my born name was Bill. Well, what impression do you get from Ethan? Um, I always... Okay, like, everyone I've known whose name is also Ethan has kind of just been, like, popular jerks. Hmm. Like, I want, like, there was this one kid on the bus I rode also named Ethan, but he was, like, a few years older than me. Total just rude dude. Hmm. And it kind of made me not like the name anymore. And just right. every time I've met someone named Ethan, they've either been like delinquent. It's always been people I don't like. Weird. So now I'm just like, eh. And I just don't like the name in general. Am I one of them? <laughs> Kinda. It's, it's got too much like, I don't like the TH sound in names, usually. Theodore. Like, I don't like, yep, Theodore, Nathan. Any other ones? Nick. Just uh, Nick with th in front of it. No, probably not that one. I just don't like that TH sound, so I'd probably change that. But I also, like, wonder, like, if I just changed my name to, like, we'll just say Max, for example, because I brought that up. Mm. Like, what would my dad think of that? Be like, bro, I named you for a reason. Yeah, like, (laughs) what if he's like, I don't know, I really like the name Ethan. And then it's also, like, you're asking your family to, like, update all their, like, mental, like, hey, oh, nope, sorry, Max. It's like, I don't care that much. Yeah. But it'd be cool to have a cooler name than Ethan, I won't lie. What impression do you get from Gage? Gage. It reminds me, I have a... Gager, Gager. I won't go too specific, but I had a family member named Gage who was a few years older than me. <gasps> I, like, when you ask me what impression I get, it's from him. It's not from me? No. What? Because he was, I knew him first. Yeah, you know me longer, though. True. Well, technically, like, if we're going by length, I've known him, I've known of him longer. No, we're going by watch hours. <laughs> we're going by watch time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, because he was, like, just a pretty typical dude. We played Roblox roleplay together. He was the dad and I was the son. That was pretty fun. What's we, with you getting along with all- gauges? I don't know. We played, like, it was, like, some, like, town of Robloxia. And he was, like, hello, son. And I'd be, like, hello, dad. <laughs> and we just roleplay is that in one of the houses. And it was really fun. Guys, screw Ultra Despair Girls. We're doing Roblox uh, roleplay next episode. I was so into Roblox roleplay. Like, sometimes it was sad how into it I was. I was, I'd play Roblox. There was this girl on Roblox. She was, like, 
some like Kate five two three zero six nine or some crap like that. You know, mm-hmm. we'd I was always a uh, it was always Percy Jackson role play man. So much fun. It was me and another dude and her. We were like a trio. We'd always do it together. And one time I was really bored, so I was role playing by myself. <laughs> So I'd just be running around, like, typing stuff into the chat box, pretending it was happening. And... Did anyone respond? There was one lady in the chat who said, It's so sad to see someone role-playing by themselves. And I thought... At the time, I thought, Oh, they're not talking about me. (laughs) And then for years, I thought, They're probably not talking about me. And then, like, one day, just kind of hit, like, Oh, they probably were talking about me. (laughs) I mean... And I was like, That is kind of sad, Is there even a point to typing it if you're by yourself? I don't know, that's how you did it. You type in, like, asterisk. Makes it feel authentic. Yeah, it does this and this and this. So, <laughs> I didn't really have that many friends when I was younger, so, you know. Oh, you, you, you were popular make when you were young, though. What? You were popular when you were young, though. Yeah, but, I don't know. There's, like, friends, and then there's, like, people you just get along with at school. I've been part of all sorts of cliques and whatever, you know? I was with the popular kids in fourth grade, and then I was with the weird kids in sixth grade. Sorry if you were friends, but you were part of the weird kids. That's just how it was. Um, you can't find me, Toko. Where'd I go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking for you. <laughs> I've been part of all the groups and cliques and cliches and all that stuff, you know? Huh. I haven't. Hey, but, check this out. Toko jump scare. <laughs> that was the stupidest scream I've ever heard from you. Ah! Uh, it hurt my throat. I've never like gotten it that high pitched before. That was kind of impressive. I, I didn't think you'd make noises like that. Uh, it hurt though. But anyways, guys, Percy Jackson Camp Half Blood Roleplay was really fun. I highly recommend it as a game. I tried looking at it, but it's pretty dead now. But at the time, it was cool. They had, like, server-wide role plays where everyone would participate, you know? Mm. So it was, like, a big thing. They mostly were like, there's danger going on outside, so you have to stay in this, like, room for three hours while we come up with something else to do. (laughs) And it was so much fun. Weird. Yeah. Well. (laughs) Anyways. Well, you never told me what impression you get from the name Gage. Oh, he was just a pretty normal dude, honestly. Like, I don't really get any special impressions from the name Gage. Oh. I just kind of see him as, like, he was a fun dude to talk to, but whenever I didn't see him, I instantly forgot about him. It's kind of sad. I was kind of hoping you'd have, like, a... Even if it was a bad impression of the name Gage, like, that's, no, that's he was a just, nerdy name. Or he was a, just cool. He had, like, a girlfriend and a job, I think, and... No, he wasn't that old, but he did have a girlfriend. Do you ever get, like, name dysphoria? Uh... Like, sometimes I'll realize my name is Gage, and I'm like... Gage. I don't like my last name. Who the frick is Gage? We have the same last name. <laughs> I know, but it's so it's such a basic last Rat name. Rat Attack. It's not basic at all. Rat Attack is such a cool last name. I, I want to like actually say it, and then people will be like, oh, that is basic. It's not like Smith or John. It's a little better than that. But not much. <laughs> no, not by much. Um, like, I guarantee you it's a name you've like seen on like cars passing by every so often or something. Or you yeah. have a teacher named this. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know how teacher. everyone has, like, a Mr. Johnson at their school? There's yeah. There's an 80% chance you have a Mr. and then did, our did last we have, name. Did you have a teacher with our last name before? I thought I've heard of one that was in our school district, but I never had him. Oh, I, I didn't. I've never heard of a teacher with the last name. I thought we did. Did you ever have a crush on your teachers? Not really. The only one I could ever even say, like, she was cool. It's still not a crush at all. But it was, like, a for, like, a biomedical class. And she was, like, probably... This was in high school, right? Yeah. Because every time we've talked about this teacher, I imagined her as really old. No, she's probably, like, 40. So, like... Okay. She wasn't, like, wrinkly or anything, but you could tell she was, like, a more mature adult... Anyway, I think she, like, lived on a farm or something and, like, you know, had a husband and everything, but... Ah, so close. She was just really funny and, like, really down-to-earth and stuff. Mm. And she, she was just one of my more favorite teachers. I don't know if I'd call it a crush, but if I were to have the hosh for a teacher, it might have been her. She was pretty, too. I know in sixth grade I found my teacher hot. Which the, one? The morning one. 
I called her mom on accident one time. <laughs> I could see that. I think she was a mom. It's really weird. I see her in public sometimes with the kid that was she was pregnant with when yeah, we during were in our, school. And yes. she's like a not a young kid anymore. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> I, uh, I remember one time I was like looking at her. I was watching the uh, checkout things, the self-checkouts. Uh-huh. And she was like, were you a student of mine? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? She and didn't I'm remember like, me. Wow, I feel so old. I think I was louder back then. She came to one of my garage sales, too. She didn't even recognize you? No. <laughs> and then I had a fourth grade teacher. My fourth grade teacher was, like, older, so not my type. But this was also, like, beginning of puberty. My hormones are making my brain light on fire. Mm. So it was literally Never just, stopped, like... stopped, by the way. Like, literally, the girl was young and had boobs. And I was like, this is awesome. Like, damn. <laughs> like, she, like, she had, like, a pretty, like, typically, like, attractive figure, you know? Mm. And little fourth grade me was like, oh, my God, I love her. No, it wasn't that bad, but it was definitely like a, she's so hot. Why am I attracted to this person? Pretty much. It's, like, the first, like, time your brain is, like, working. Yeah. And then, okay, I actually, I need the viewer's help really quick. <laughs> okay. And then, then this episode's done, because I'm done talking. Oh, my God. How... This is a 20-minute outro. (laughs) Well, honestly, I've had more fun just ranting for a while than I have following the story. Sometimes you need a breakup in it, you know? Well, we always rant during our Let's Plays anyway. It's just harder to do when it's like a voiced game. Right. But there was... Okay, Fail Army. It was just that... I'm sure it's still up. It's that YouTube channel that had like compilations of people failing so they fell off a diving board or they're driving an atv and it flips on them and it's always like oh haha that's so funny they messed up right Mm -hmm. i'm sure everyone's heard of it they had like a talk show thing and there was three people one of them i cannot remember but it was a dude the second one was a girl i had a massive crush on and again this was like really early stuff so not whatever and then the other one was another dude Mm-hmm. And the, it was like a talk show, or they just like chat. It was like a pocket. I don't know what it was, but I tried finding it a while ago, and I could not for the life of me. And I really want to just remember what the girl looks like, just because I was like, I forgot it, and I'm so curious, you know? You can't look it up yourself? Well, I couldn't find it. You think the viewers are going to go and find it for you? Well, maybe one. I mean, you know, this we've gotten more viewers lately, so maybe it's like a... <laughs> Maybe maybe there's like someone else who's like 18, 19, you know, roughly the same age. Like and they just saw it back then and were like, "Oh, I know what they're talking about. It was called this or it's this channel, you know?" Mm. I'm not asking people to scavenger hunt. I'm just curious if they've heard of it. Because I remember liking it a lot. One because I thought the girl was really pretty, and two it was actually entertaining to watch. Of course back then it might be total slop, but anyways, I'm just curious if anyone's heard of that. No. Oh. Oh, does she just not move when you're aiming? Yeah. So if you just aim and just walk the other direction. Yeah. That's what I was doing, like... Oh, I see. Before, that's what I was like, Toko jump scare. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) She's so scary. (laughs) But anyways, that's all I want to say. Please find the Fail Army talk show people. Viewers, please, I'm begging you. That was the love of my life right there as a little 14-year-old boy. (laughs) Probably, like, 50 years old and wrinkly now. She's probably like 35 or something. I don't know. Get down, woman. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace out. Yeah.